Blender just announced their new update 4.0 and they came up with some incredible new super duper features. But I'm gonna talk about my favorite one among them, which is called light linking. Let me show you what it can do. All right, so here we are in Blender 4.0. As you guys can see, I tried to cut to the chase right away so I don't have to waste time, you know, setting up all the lights and everything. But I'll, ex I'll describe something that might make it easier to understand what is light linking. Now in real life where I experience with cinematography, there is a term for it, it's called a uh, light blocking, where you need to lit a specific area of your uh, subject or element that you're trying to shoot and make sure that the light is not spreading all over the place. It's not affecting the overall scenery, which as you can see here, I have around four light source and they're all emitting the object, which is the car here. By the way, this is my 3D car model. If you're interested, link will be in the description. Anyway, as you can see, you have a very unpleasant reflection on the floor. Usually we don't want to see that, especially when, when it comes to product photography, studio photography, or you know, studio animation, whatever you call it. You don't want that. So how to get rid of that? Now we can do that easily with light linking. And let me show you how. Now, first of all, you have to make sure that your lights are all in one collection. Now I've, I've already done that. If you don't know how to make a collection, you just right click new collection, rename it light, and you can add as many lights, infinite amount of light. And you have to make sure that your object, which is in our case, the car is in another collection and make sure to rename it, you know, car. Now here, what are you going to do? You're going to come to the first one and you're going to manually come to object here. And then you have shading tab and here you have light linking. Now you have to press new and then just drag and drop the car collection and boom. And now you have to do manually for the other lights. All you have to do is just go to shading, light linking, click new again, and just drag the car collection and boom again. Beautiful. We're getting there again, drag car. And once again, drag the car collection. Now you have it. All right. So before, after this would have been a very challenging process without light linking and you can go as far now if you just move the light you know you can see it's only affecting our object again you have to be careful also it can be very unrealistic so you have to be careful where is your light motivation this is a very hypothetical case and it's a studio so pretty much you can be creative with it so that's it for today guys thank you so much for watching this video i am not officially back i'm still gonna be busy with some university stuff but i will be back for sure and I just wanted to make this quick video where I talk about this new feature, which blew my mind. So I hope you liked it. You know what? I'm not going to spend too much time on this. You already know what I'm going to say. Check the links below. I'll see you guys on the next one.